Hello and welcome to Identifying Number Patterns. This is Chapter 1, Lesson 1 from the Nelson Math Focus textbook. And this MathCast is coming to you from St. John Fine Arts School. And I am Mr. Burko, so welcome. Our goal today is to describe a number pattern within each column or row of a table of values. Now remember, a column is a number uh, sequence that's going top to down, and a row is going left to right. And a table of values, you probably already know, but if you don't, I think you'll get refreshed as you watch this video. So let's move on. Our textbook character is on page four and her name is Leah. And she is playing a game like Solitaire where she creates rows of cards and each row she adds on, she adds a certain number of cards on. So here, this will make more sense if I show you. In row one, she puts one card down. And then she makes a second row with three cards. She makes a third row with five cards and her fourth row has seven cards in it. Now you kind of have to ignore the fact that there's all these seven of spades. I know a deck of cards would only have one seven of spades, but I was using clip art and this was a lot easier than creating a different card for each one. So you're just going to have to suspend your disbelief four rows. Now she's going to record these in a table of values. You'll notice in the previous slide there were four rows. So those row numbers are one, two, three, four. And the number of cards in each row went from one to three, then to five, then to seven. And that's what we're going to have here in our second column. One, three, five, seven. Now she's also playing a different game and she's using a different pattern in this game. There's still four rows and the total number of cards goes from 1 to 4 to 9 to 16. There's a pattern there but it's maybe not as obvious as the first pattern. We'll work on that one a little bit later. Question A says, what is a pattern rule for each column in table 1? Well here's our first column, that one's real easy. You start at 1 and you add 1 each time. So it goes from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4. This one's not as easy but it's still not that difficult. We started at 1 and then we added 2 each time. So it goes from 1 to 3, then add 2 to 5, add 2 to 7. So I hope that was pretty straightforward for you. Question B says, what is a pattern rule for each column in table 2? So we've got two columns here and it just so happens that our number of rows is the same as this one. The pattern rule is start at 1 and add 1 each time. The total number of cards though is a little more tricky. Like I said, it starts at 1 but it goes to 4 so that's adding 3. Then it goes 4 to 9, that's adding 5. And it goes from 9 to 16, so that's adding 7. So the pattern's a little harder to figure out but it goes 3, 5, 7. So what do you see there? It's adding 2 to the total number of cards each time. So it's adding 3 this time. Then 3 plus 2 is 5, that adds 5. 5 plus 2 is 7, that adds 7. So that's the pattern rule there. Start at 1 and then add 2 to 3 each time. Uh, question C says, uh, what is what numbers will Leah record in table 1 and table 2 when she makes two more rows of cards? How do you know? So I want you to take a chance here and do this yourself. Uh, if I added a 5 and a 6 row here, what would the numbers in these two rows be here? And then same thing here, 5 and 6, and then what would that number be there? Pause the presentation for uh, just a few minutes. Try and figure that out. You can just leave the screen up on your computer and then uh, record your answer and we'll check them in a moment. Welcome back, let's check your answers. We add a fifth row here to this first column and that means we add 2 to this last one, that makes 9. We add a sixth row, that gives us 11. Over on the other side we have 5 and 6 and that means that we added 7 to this last one, we're going to add 9 to the next one. So we're going to add 9 to 16, that makes 25. And then we're going to add 11 to the next one because we add 2 to 9, that gives us 36. So this is uh, our answer there. I hope that your answer was the same as mine. Now question D is just simply uh, what, uh, if Leah had 52 cards, how many cards will be in her last row and how do you know? Well, if she does have, uh, if she does have 52 cards, we have to know how much these all add up to. Remember, because one, three, five, those are all individual cards. So if those add up to uh, 49 then she can't create an eighth row. So in other words she can go all the way to seven but she only has three cards left can't create the eighth one. Thanks for joining me.